Hello everybody, it's Mike again, and I'm going to be continuing Let's Play Wandering Hamster, Part 1. So, um, we're going to start off by heading over to this little house over here. I know this is not the place we saw in the intro, however, this is, this is where we do the training battles. Um, I already know how to play the game, but we're going to do the training battles anyway because you get gold and experience from doing Blah, blah, blah. So let's do this. So yeah, the battle system is really easy. It looks just like Final Fantasy. Um, you guys stand on the left, on the right. The enemies are on the left. And you just attack them. Last party standing wins. Pretty easy. Bob has a number of attacks. His basic attack is to punch things. Although, if you have different weapons equipped, that changes. But right now, he just has his fists, so we're punching things. He also has a special category of technique called Magic Smite, which are elemental attacks, basically. But we're not going to use them right now, since he only has a limited number of them. So these plips... Oh yeah, plips are the Goombas of the game. They're weak, and they generally don't have any special abilities. However, these ones are capable of healing themselves especially when they don't actually need it. The artificial intelligence in this game is random, literally. So, we're just going to attack them. They, he's used up all, both of his healing attacks, so this isn't very difficult at all. Now, I didn't mention before, but obviously when you're, fight, when you're fighting with the, the Plip Tamer, you're not actually fighting him himself. He actually stands off to the side and heals you so that you cannot lose this game. That would be pretty embarrassing, losing during the training battles. As you can see, this Plip has the capability of jumping, and you can't hit him while, this, while enemies are in the air. Rather, while he's in the air. So now we have a whole crowd of plips. So we need, to, in order to deal with these, we need a spread attack. So we have to pick up this rock. Okay, so now we learn how to use items. Again, oops, that's all I wanted to do. Item. So it's a pretty smart rock, as you can see. And of course, we get enough experience exactly to level up. Okay, so that's all the battles here. Let's get out of here. Already at three minutes and five seconds, and haven't even started the game. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's enter the first random battle. Okay, so this is a little bit tougher than that. Training battles, so I'm going to use one of his magic smites. I'll use fire and strike. But of course, I only had one, so now I can't use it again. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, so our goal is to go talk to James. He lives in the middle of town, and apparently Bob likes talking to himself. James Island, middle of town. Got it, let's go. First, let's go to the stop by the local weapon shop. Because I actually don't have a weapon and I want one. So let's get a hammer and some gloves. And equip them on him so we can actually use them. Da -da -da. Okay, cool. Now we're ready to fight anything that comes in our way. Like monsters and stuff. Okay, so here's James. Good morning, Bob. Looks like we may have some work to do today. All kinds of battle noises have been coming from the castle. Go check it out, and, and then come back here and tell me what's going on over there. Yeah. Where's the castle? You know perfectly well where, where the castle is. Oh yeah, follow the path, right? Alright, let's go to the castle. 
may notice that I explicitly ignored those treasure boxes. We'll get to them later. Had we come here early, before, before we talked to James, i.e. tried to go to the castle before we were supposed to, there would have been a whole bunch of rocks here. Courtesy of this guy. Who are you? Why, me? Uh, I'm the town plot boulder mover, Union Local 173. There's a labor union for people who move rocks around? Hmm, of course. They certainly aren't going to move themselves. Oh. Yeah. This game has a lot of meta humor in it. So, da da da, path, path, path. Da da da. -da. There are random battles around here, which is why I'm sticking to the path. Uh, I've had precious little time as it is. I'm probably going to end up skipping a lot of random battles in the future. So yeah, here's the castle. What's up? I've never seen anybody guarding this gate before. Aren't you guys usually sleeping at this time of day? Go away, little hamster. This castle belongs to Lord Brost now. Okay, so he's not going to let us in. So let's go back to James. I'm going to off-screen this because... Yeah, because this can take a while. Okay, so here we are back at James' house. So let's go talk to him again. There were a bunch of guards at the gate. They wouldn't let me in. They said Lord Somebody or Other is in charge now. What? Lord Bruce must have taken the castle from Lord Hazem. We have to do something. Lord Bruce is evil and malicious. And I can't imagine how he would possibly know about Lord Brost, but whatever. So, you want me to go pummel him? Yep. And I'm coming along too. What good would you be? I'm the one who knows all the ninja hamster fighting techniques. Ah, but you forget. I'm an accomplished bubble mage. Let's go. So now I'm going to take the treasure boxes. A life potion and a can of spam. James uses unique weapons, such as this can of spam. He also came with a hat, which we're going to put on him. As you can see, his magic goes up by quite a bit when he puts a hat on. <laughs> And a bubble mage is not very useful without any magic. Okay, so I'm going to off-screen back to the castle, since this is a long, tedious journey. Burp. Okay, I actually lied. We're not actually going to the castle just yet. If you remember, well, during the training battles, I actually took quite a bit of damage. So I'm actually only at half health right now. So we're going to stop by this little monastery place, where we can actually rest. Go into the basement, open the treasure chest. I've been sp saving a special item for you, Bob. Oh yeah, there's that too. Let's go get that first, then we'll sleep. Found the Book of Tides. Alright, Bob l learns spells, his magic smites, uh, by reading books, basically. So we're going to use that right now. Tide book, on Bob. Bob the hamster learned Tide Strike. <laughs> Now, the inn is in the other room here. Oh yeah, I have to actually go to bed. Okay, so now we are all healed up. Cool. Alright, so let's get out here. And actually go to the castle. I'm actually running low on time, too. But either way. Alright, so, by the order of Lord Brost, none may enter this castle. We disagree. Yeah, let us in or feel the wrath of my mallet. Alright, let's let them feel the wrath of my mallet. So James' bubble of magic comes in different couple, a couple forms. We have bubble, which is just a basic attack. Bubble wall, which is a spread attack. Fizz, which is like a cure spell. And soap shield, which increases your defense. We're just going to use bubble wall, though, because we got a whole bunch of enemies. I'm also still not using uh, Bob's uh, other magic spikes because we need to save them for an upcoming boss. Okay, cool. 
Oh, we got an iron sword. I think J uh, Bob can equip that. Let's check. No, James. No, okay, so we have a sword that nobody can use. Alright, uh, we're actually running pretty low on time. So I'll actually hold off on entering the castle until next time. So, join us next time for part two of Wandering Hamster. See you later, guys.